soon after arriving in Leicester, I was invited to become a patron for Sound Cafe. That means that I've tried to call in as often as I can to meet with people and to begin to feel a part of the wonderful family that Sound Cafe has become. And as I've been meeting people, so I've been hearing the stories of those individuals and the difference that Sound Cafe makes in their lives. I've been coming for three years now. I've excelled in my poetry. Come here to sing a song, the karaoke or whatever, you know. By making and creating a safe place for them, their creativity is released. We had an arrangement with DMU and had a student on placement for six weeks and each week she did a different craft or art project with our guests which they enjoyed very much. In particular the most memorable one was when they made sunflowers out of paper plates. My name's Emma Trounson, I'm the conductor of Sound Cafe Choir. We sing um, pop songs, musical theatre, at the moment we're doing lots of African-American um, spirituals to enable people to actually uh, find their voice and find the confidence uh, to sing, whether it's on their own as a solo uh, or just in that big group of people. In one sense, of course, it is a true injustice that something like Sound Cafe is needed. Uh, there are large numbers of people here in Leicester and Leicestershire who experience homelessness and that's about far more than just people sleeping rough on the streets. Uh, it's about people who in all sorts of ways are not secure and have no place that they can call their own home. This place gives people in that category an opportunity to be in a safe place where they can come and share their life experiences and lift each other up. And I do believe Sound Cafe is growing. It's getting more popular than ever. I believe we're going to have to get a bigger place. Without donations, we won't be able to put into place our development plan to include drama, for example, and help them to explore faith. Positive things are happening. They don't happen straight away, but over time, you see the same people starting to change in a better way because they're, they're listening to Helen and the other staff members um, in a positive way and it, it's all starting to come out of them. This place is a blessing to Leicester. This grand hall in St Martin's House gets used for all sorts of different events but I'm delighted that it's become something of a home for Sound Cafe. And I hope that through your donations, they'll be able to run even more events and activities here in this special place. So please do give generously.